This will be our third fund. It's a $40 million fund. So we're giving people a chance now to say, hey, I want to be involved in big, big, giant real estate deals that pay money. These are deals that are doing anywhere from 160 to 200% returns. You put a million dollars into a deal and you're coming out with two, two to $3 million, but it's going to take 10 years. This is not get rich quick. Okay. If you're taking notes, write this down. Don't, don't do the get rich quick, man. Go for the get rich for sure. I don't need to get rich quick. I want to get rich for sure. So I'm going to go from 4,000 units. How many do you think I should go to? I'm going to go to 40,000 units. This is what I'm going to do, and this is why I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to 40,000 units, and I'm going to get the whole world involved in it. You're either going to invest with me, or you're going to actually help me raise these funds. Okay, so when you see me on social media talking about other stuff, anything that you see me talking about, what I'm doing is building an audience so I can allow people to get in a vehicle to where everybody gets rich. Because let me tell you something, if you want to make happy customers for life, make them money. Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Young Hustlers. We're every Thursday at noon East Coast Standard Time. Your man GC and your boy JG, we come here. And we got the cash guns to today. Drop some bombs. We got the cash guns today. Okay, I'm going to give you a little bit, not a lot. Don't want to overwhelm you. Don't want you guys doing too well. I know you don't want to do too well. If you're pulling against yourself on your finances, pulling against yourself on your income, and you're sick and tired of pulling against yourself, G, G Dog right here. And what's your name again? J Dog. J Dog. We want to help you get your money right. We want to get you help you get your hustle right. We want to get your money hustling as hard as you do. Today we're going to share some tipolas. Mm -hmm. Okay, on how you can make more money quickly. By the way, you don't need to wait forever, right, Jared? You don't have to wait forever. You can do it right now. As a matter of fact, you can make money as easy as you can pull that trigger. You believe that? You believe that? 305-865-8668. 305-865-8668. I just want to share with you real quick yep. that the best salespeople I have ever met, the most talented, relentless, the beast, are in the, are, they, they, they play the game for two reasons. Okay, the perfect combination would play it for both reasons. They either play it for the game, or they play it for the money. Mm -hmm. They either play it for the game. Mike Bonnet's a gamer. He's a gamer. And then there's a guy that's just completely money motivated. Mm -hmm. Now I know a lot of people that lie that they're not money motivated, and I know a lot of people that lie that all. And that's not going to game thing for me, you know. Like like some people just like being told no. And like overcoming it. Yeah. Some people are in the game for the money. If you could figure out the combination of both, the money and the game, like I play it for the game and the money. Jared watched me negotiate with a guy in here for an hour and a half the mm -hmm. other day. This guy's not, he's not buying a car or a watch or, or, or renting a, a mm -hmm. rent an apartment. Okay, we're negotiating a ma ma massive Big deal. deal. Big deal. Yeah. He's got a bunch of money. You know, I'm trying to get there. Now this, can I just, I just yeah. want to interject something here. When you have two people that are negotiating, grown men, who can both walk away and be totally fine. That's one of the most fascinating things about the whole real estate thing and watching you in that deal because yeah, yeah. you're literally working with people that are, dude, they're already extremely wealthy. Most of them control, some of them control billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. So watching these guys go back and forth trying to make these deals happen is I mean, I'm in, the, I'm in the deal and the guy's like, the guy's like, so I'm just saying to you, you either got to be in it for the money or the game or both. You got to figure this out. If you're not mm -hmm. money motivated, you're already under a threat. You're going to lose most of these mm -hmm. deals because you're not money motivated. And the guy buying from you is money motivated. He don't want to come see you. He don't want to yeah. give you an appointment. He doesn't want to close the proximity, right? I'm, see, I'm more, mo I'm more money motivated than I am motivated by the game. So yeah, for yeah. me, like I have to consciously like find the game in it. 
Yeah. So what happens like, to Jared? Yeah. Jared Jared's weakness in negotiating is he forgets the game. Yeah. He becomes significant about the objection, the other person, yeah. what's being said, mm -hmm. the scenarios, this and that. And and I am not. I don't. I don't get so drawn into the mm -hmm. significance. Yeah. And I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about here. I'm talking about very high level understanding of mm -hmm. sales, marketing, promotion, closing, negotiating. If you missed my yeah. negotiating webinar two Phew. weeks ago, grandcardone.com forward slash free training. <clears throat> so in the past two weeks, what I've done is I did one on money. In the past week, I did one on negotiating. Mm -hmm. If you could put the combination of these two, because negotiating is a game. Yeah. Things like the white flag, the selfish child. Yep. The take them to zero. Yep. I sat here the other day and took a guy to zero. I had to take him to zero, man, for us to all get to the reality of the situation. And we're sitting in there laughing. I'm yep. cracking him in the face. He's cracking me in the face. I move over, sit next to him. These are the things you need a mentor for because mm -hmm. you're not going to learn it. If you learn it on your own, you're going to be an old man by the time you get it. Yeah. So you guys can either shortcut it and figure out how do I play a game and how do I stay financially motivated. So Jared told me this morning, he's like, man, I'm work I, I need to work on the game more. Yeah. The game of it. We got the lead, mm -hmm. calling our referrals, calling back showroom traffic, calling up so unsold and unsold business from last month. But how do I get them here? Yeah. How do I stay gamey? How do mm -hmm. I get them laughing about it? Mm -hmm. And then how do I crack a next? Snapping checks. How do I get that too? Because I know a lot of great salespeople just don't end up with this mm -hmm. for whatever reason. And I know a lot of great salespeople that end up with way less than they deserve. Mm -hmm. So how can we help you solve that problem? Negotiating and the money. This guy walked out of here happy the other day. Oh, totally. Yeah. I'm so, happy he's so happy. did you. We're all happy. Yeah. That's the win-win. Everybody's like, you got to have a win-win. What does that even mean? Yeah. Somebody is going to lose uh, something for you to win. And that means you got to lose something for them to win. A win-win results in a loser. Like I, everybody's like, win-win-win. I sound so good. Okay, man. I'm going to die and go to heaven for sure. Dude, a win-win requires a loser. It means I got to lose and Jared's got to lose. If me and Jared are negotiating, it's a give and take thing, right? With every give and take, tide comes in, tide must go out. Tide just comes in, mm -hmm. you're going to have a backed up sewer. So right, 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 for Jared to give me something and me win, Jared mm -hmm. had to give me something, which means he had to lose something. Mm -hmm. Everybody got to lose <laughs> something, okay? Where's your money at, baby? <laughs> Call us, 305-865-8668. We got six callers we want to talk to. Get the hustle young. What are you doing about your money? And what are you doing about the game? Because it takes two to win. La, talk to me. La, la, la. Nick, what's up, baby? Hey, hey, Uncle G. Come on, man. Talk to Jared, too. Jared, your little nephew, your little nephew, your cousin here. What's up, Jared? Hey, Jared, what's Jared on, won't touch you in funny places or anything. Hey, thank goodness, man. That's getting a little weird. <laughs> you know you like it. What's going hey, on, man? What's your question? Hey, so uh, for Uncle G, so I just got my, my life insurance license, and I'm trying to go do some door-to-door -door sales. And I just want to ask him what he thinks the best like pitch would be going door-to-door. -door. You, you should get my cold calling program, bro. That's what you should do. You obviously don't have yeah. it or you wouldn't have to ask that question. So a no, yeah, couple look. things, couple things. You gotta be a gamer, dude. You're gonna do the door to the door. No door to door guy survives if he's not a gamer. Yeah. He has to know how to play the game, not just sell a product. And Every, that goes for cold calling too, not just like door to door, but door, also on a phone. Door to door is the ultimate cold call because you can't hide behind a phone. You're in front of the guy's face. It takes longer. You had to walk down the sidewalk. Walking down the sidewalk by itself. Up to the guy's front door is terrifying because mm -hmm. you don't know what you're doing. You have to be a gamer. You don't need to know the product. You don't just need to know your pitch. You don't just need to know your script. You got to be a gamer. What do gamers do? They play games. That's right. Okay? So that's what you got to learn. Dude, get millions. No, no. Get the cold calling program. Where do they find that? Uh, it's actually phone mastery. So if you go to oh. grantcardone.com forward slash certification, there's a certification in there specifically so that you can master phones. And bro, if you don't get it, just count down yourself from six, five, four, three, two, one.
Bang! Are you tired of buying ads? How much would five times more visitor from search engines like Google or Bing do for your business? Link Research Tools helps you increase that free organic traffic. We have offerings to get your business to become the dominant force on the internet. The secret of internet traffic is what we give you. We convert that traffic into cash flow for your business. Learn more at linkedresearchtools.com. That's linkresearchtools.com and sign up now. Dynamics University is a coaching, education, and network expanding program. Our service is worth over $40,000 per year in value. Set smart goals that you'll be held accountable to achieving. Train daily on Cardinal University and build a power network of like-minded people who are growing with you. Wealth Dynamics University is like having all of the answers written down for you, and all you have to do is show up, work hard, and listen. Wealth Dynamics U costs no more than your car payment. The difference? It will actually make you money. Go to WealthDynamics.com forward slash university. That's WealthDynamics.com forward slash university now to get started. Growing your future, protecting your past. J.D. Frost & Company, PLLC, is a public accounting firm. Offers a variety of assurance and tax services to businesses and individuals in the Chattanooga and surrounding areas. We focus on construction and manufacturing industries. Our primary objective is client satisfaction through excellent customer service. Work with the best. We are accredited by the BBB. This is J.D. Frost & Company for a full suite of tax assurance and management accounting services. Visit us right now at frostcpas.com. in the face. Gave him a, I gave him a paper burn on his face. Uh, okay, my name's Grant Cardone. This is Jared Glant, Young Hustlers, every Thursday, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here from the 10X Media Studio. Miami. We are in the Cardone Zone. Every day of the week, we bring you Cardone Zone content. Today's Young Hustlers, you can listen to the show on iTunes, post your comments, subscribe to the iTunes channel, and review, and I'll send you my next book for free. It's the only way you can buy it. From me, for free. Dang, that's some that's some stuff right there. We're talking about games, bars, and money. Bars. Why are the games and the money? Let's just bring this back. Yeah. Why Why is it important for me to be a gamer and a money guy? Well, the the money motivation, obviously, like if you can't get in tune with the importance of this and how how vital this is to get to where you want to go, and how much of this it's going to take to hit your dreams and goals, you're going to have problems. The game is what makes it fun. There's not one person that'll do more for work than they will for a game. Games, games are way up here, okay? So, so just so you guys don't know that, if you don't have a game in the sales game, you're going to end up in the golf course. Because you're doing work. Because you'll be like, okay, man, I got my money, mate. See, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Look, this is why these top producers end up not being top producers. Because mm -hmm. they go play games. I want to go riding with my kids. Dude, yeah. that ain't for the kids. That's for you. You know you're a kid. Let's keep it real. Okay, you go to the golf course. You go off shooting. You go off, uh, 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 you know, whatever your jet thing skiing. is. Jet skiing. Jet skiing. Playing on the weekends. Why? Because you will spend money to play a game. That's why you got to bring the game. Into what you do from whenever you do it. Monday through Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now, me, I am the perfect if there was a... A creation beast, if there was a stem cell that you could, a DNA thing. I am the perfect combination between a gamer. And money. And a money guy. I have attached money to the game. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, like, I'm not going to play a game with you if there's not money involved. That's true. Backgammon. Checkers. Guts. Guts. Poker. High card. Golf. Guess. <laughs> I ain't a gambler, by the way. I'm not some degenerate gambler. I don't gamble. I win a lot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, uh, we play golf. Well, I'm not that good. Okay. My hamstrings are all jacked up, pulling on me. Bio Dude, we, go, up. we are going to play for something or we're not going to play because a game without a reward. I know this is not socially acceptable. It's for the tards. Okay, let's talk to somebody. 
Eric, Atlanta, if what's happening? If I offend happening? any of you and you don't want to do business with it anymore, by the way, okay? If I've done anything offensive in the last week and you're like, dude, I just can't do business with you anymore, then just call us. We good. We going wide <laughs> so that I can slide because I'm a gamer. That's right. Not a blamer or a shamer. If you find offense in anything I do, let me just tell you, you got too much free time and you aren't running down to hunt. No one thing will ever kill a deal. No one thing ever kills a deal, man. You guys are like, oh my God, man, he's at the golf course and he's getting ready to go jump in the lake. That's right. Because I'm a gamer. It's hot. <laughs> and I'm not going to get my pants wet. Those are brand new pants. I like those pants, actually. Who do we got? Who's, what caller? Who, who do we good, got? Right? Those, are, those yeah, are good pants. David, what's happening? Welcome to the show, Dave. See, Dave lives in California. You know why? Because the people me, in Dave. California don't have imagination. Yeah. So what they need, they need a beach. They need the ocean. They need, they need fantasy because they can't create. You guys that watch pornography, it's because you don't have an imagination. <laughs> yeah. I, you can so, definitely so, say that. <laughs> so look, man, you got to come up with your own games, guys. You cannot wait for the environment to provide a game for you or for your manager to come up with a new bonus. That's why Bonnet does good. Mm -hmm. He plays games in his own head. Mm -hmm. So he's not competing with other people. He's competing with his, his need for the game. Mm -hmm. Probably why he's got five kids, too. Probably. That last kid looks a little like me, though, man. I got to say, <laughs> man. Huh? Don't you? Didn't, when you looked at it, did you say, like, yeah, mostly just, just in the face. Here too mostly long, just his wife in the, been at the house too much? Not, mostly <laughs> just in the face. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because it's kind of tall. Yeah. She's tall. Not really. Some long legs. Bonnet. Bonnet, we're talking about your wife right now, man. Okay. Uh, next caller, David. David. No, oh, everybody's dumped. Nicole. Wow. See the game, baby. You got to stay in the game. Okay. I called Gulfstream in December and said, "Look, I need to buy a plane." They're like, "We don't have a game. Or, we don't have a plane." I'm like, "Game on." <laughs> game on. Okay. I called the bank and said, "Look, I need a loan for this. Uh, we're not doing loans on that." Mm -hmm. Game on. Hey, uh, my wife says I'm not going to go out with you. I'm not. You're not my type. Game on. Game on. Car. Okay. Do you guys? You guys? You have an appointment not show up. You need to start thinking what? Game on. Game on, dog. Because where they say no, there is money. Wherever there's a no, there is money. Listen to what I'm telling you. You need to tweet this out today. Wherever you hear a no, there is mo -ney. No is mo. No is mo. No is mo. Change the no to the mo. No is mo. That's what I'm saying, man. You got to get this. You got to get, you got, you guys are wired wrong. You think no is broke. Bro. No is mo. Why do I say that? Because you got to play the game, man. You got to think it through. If he's saying no to me, he said no to him, he said no to them, he said no to everybody. Oh, you definitely got a game then. No is mo at the front door or with the hoe to get your cash flow right. See, that's what you got to do. Jared, you're good at that, man. Okay. Man, if this show was just a cash gun, we'd be good. Okay. So call us up, 305-865-8668. 305-865-8668. I had a car dealer once tell me, he's like, you got 20 seconds. I'm like, game on. <laughs> game on. But you got to get your game ready before yeah. the game, dog. And you got to have a big funnel. The reason I brought this thing up about, hey, if you have a problem mm -hmm. with anything I say or do on this show, mm -hmm. then go away. Yeah. Don't do business with me, man. Not one, no one thing will blow a deal. Yeah. And we're going wide. Yep. That's right. Because that's where the game is. That is where the game is. So what do you see here that happens here mm -hmm. that they don't see, that they need to see, that they would, that they would benefit from from a peaky week? The, probably the biggest thing is just the attention to, to the detail and everything, like getting that extra thing getting the hard thing, doing the hard thing, having the hard conversation. You know, I think people, because of just the, the stickiness of having those tougher conversations, yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. the negotiations here with, you know, people yeah. that are here yeah. or whatever, uh, I think people, like, tend to avoid those in general. Yeah. And so what happens is they end up getting either less than they deserve, they're, they're, they're not getting a fair exchange, or, because or, they're doing or you the don't thing. get a deal done. Right. You don't get a deal done, because you guys don't know how to negotiate. Yeah. 
you don't know how to negotiate for money and you don't know how to negotiate with the game. Yeah. So you don't know how to you use the white flag, the selfish child, the Genghis Khan, mm-hmm. and take them to zero. Yeah. You guys are amateurs. Back I'm to just the future. busting you in the mouth right now. Back okay? to the future, too. Back to the future. You got to reach into the future and show a guy the future, dude. What is going to happen if you don't? What is going to happen if you do? Mm-hmm. By the way, you guys need to work out your own damn fu- fu- future. Yep. So the reason I can take a guy to the future is because I'm taking myself to the future. We had that conversation this morning. I'm like, yep. dude, if we don't do this, this is where we're going to be 12 months from now. Yeah. So we either got to have the hard conversation with him mm-hmm. or we got to have it with ourselves. Yeah. Sooner or later, I got to confront the beast here. That's the thing people don't want to do. So, why? I got to confront my money, yeah. man. And you got to come up with your own reality. I ought to just do it on the board right now. Just, just, just take this thing public right now. Do the board? I ought to take the magic board, bring out my public situation, air my dirty laundry in public. I could show you three deals that we're working on right now. Dude, it would just like, it would blow your mind. If you understand the game <laughs> and you understand the money, okay? Everybody can win. There is only one company to work for in the smart home industry, Skyline Security. Right now is looking for the best of the Grant Cardone following to join their team and expand financially and professionally. Go to joinskyline.com to register. Labeled by Inc. 5000 as the fastest growing company for the last two years in a row, you get to protect families, grow your wealth, and join a team of top producers. Skyline is looking for great people. Go to joinskyline.com. That's joinskyline.com to get started on a brand new 10X career path. Go to joinskyline.com to register. Astro's Computer Engineering is at the front of everything digital and technology. With the most advanced use of Amazon Web Services, artificial intelligence to predict your next sale, learn how to predict what your customers will buy next, learn how to know and automate your whole business so you can do one thing, go make more money. Tim Clark is the guy to know, a thriving entrepreneur and the mastermind behind artificial intelligent sales processes. Get automated, make more money, and grow your business with Nikos. Learn more at NikosCE.com. That's NikosCE.com right now. When it comes to next generation telecommunications and setting up your business, there is no better company than Bullfrog. From setting up mobile office telecommunication technology to integrating with CRMs and call tracking, Bullfrog Communications has every service you need to handle, maintain, and expand your communication line with your customers. Upgrade your business phone right now. Let us help you grow your business with smart, easy, flexible, and efficient technology that gets your company on the road to better communication and next-generation business phone systems. To learn more, get a free quote at bullfrog.net. That's bullfrog.net right now. Introducing the fastest-growing e-commerce platform in the fitness space, gymfoodstore.com. Dr. David Carley is a Harvard-trained MD entrepreneur and specialist in rehabilitation and regenerative medicine, along with Zoe Bedford, experience in distribution and product development, bring you an online store interested in optimizing your health gym food store is your online marketplace for nutritional and sports supplementation all things health gym food store is here to help you identify and validate product selection learn more at gymfoodstore.com that's gymfoodstore.com right now we're talking about dumbasses it's a great day here at young hustlers where every thursday noon east coast standard time we bring you information on sales and money and how to get more of both ego is costing you both the game and the money folks Mm -hmm. the ego is costing you the game and the money when your ego is bigger than your bank account dude you're going to be broke don't win and lose at the same time i know people that want to win to feel good First of all, they're not going to even win because they're probably not going to complete the game. Right. Like if you do the math, when you're negotiating with a guy and you're looking at a guy like I was the other day, I'm with a guy, I'm sitting through the deal and I'm like, bro, if you don't do the deal with me, because he said, you're this and you're that and you're this and you're that. Yeah. You heard him yelling yeah, yeah, in yeah. there. Okay. And I'm like, bro, if you don't do the deal with me, this is where you end up with. Okay. Bang, 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 bang. Ah, ah, ah. Don't interrupt me, man. Yeah. Look at this piece of paper. I want to show you what it's going to cost you. I'm your best friend right now, even though you think I'm the enemy. Right? I'm doing it with another guy right now. I'm like, dude, don't be stupid. You're dealing with stupid people every day. Y'all need to know that. You're dealing with dumb people every day. They don't know about their money, and they don't know about the game. The same problems I have, that, that interview I did this morning. The yeah. guy's like, dude, how are you so aware of what's going on? Because I know what I do. Yeah. So if I'm doing it, I'm like everybody else. Mm-hmm. If I'm not playing the game and staying excited, and I'm, I'm not paying attention to the money anymore, 
then I know Jared's not paying attention yeah. to the money in the game. So the, the reason why, when you come visit our company, look how many guys back there are. They're trying to figure out They're, how to negotiate the game, yeah. the play, like staying excited. It, it, it's a task. Let's talk to somebody well, on the phone. Well, because the right? thing is, is the money eventually, like you get to the point where, where you have enough money. Like you have enough money. Like if it was a just about the money for you, yeah. you probably would, would be not doing what you're doing now. Because, yeah, yeah, like, how because, much money are you going to make this month? 100, 100 grand. Yeah. He's got enough yeah. money, too, man. Yeah. Until he don't have any. Yeah. Until I wake him up and say, bro, you ain't got any money, dude. You that, ain't got that, that baby shit. money, son. Yeah. That, that, that's some baby carrot money. That's some little carrots that come in the bag. They cut them for you. It's not even the big ones, baby. man. Like the big ones. The big, the big, big. Nubs. Who likes a little carrot? Size matters when it comes to carrots. Don't kid yourself. Cucumbers too. Okay, yeah. Mason, what's up? Mason jars. Look, a big mason man. jar is worth man. more than a little mason jar. What's up, bruh? What's up, man? Come man, on, young this, hustler. This is incredible, guys. I'm going to tell you, Grant, Grant and Mr. GC, I've been listening to you way back. I mean, from your first ever podcast appearance on Bigger Pockets. Uncle Jay, Cousin Jay, Jared, don't, don't think I forgot about you. I've been following the show for a long time. Learned a tremendous amount from both of you guys. I appreciate you even just taking the time to talk to me. You're the man, uh, If dude. you guys have time, I mean, maybe I'll tell you a little bit about me, and then you can tell me sort of if, you know, where I'm heading the wrong direction and how I can get my money right. Something else, GC, something I hugely respect about you is you say what needs to be said, and you're not afraid of being politically incorrect, man. I mean, I, I got well, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't know if I'm afraid or not. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, the way it seems on your show is, you know, it's like, I mean, at least you say you're not. Well, yeah. I, I didn't mean, say I wasn't. I didn't you know say I wasn't scared. On. I didn't say that. You added that. No, no, Miss. Oh, don't be lying about me. Don't be lying about me. Added, you don't know. You I, don't I, know I, what I, I feel. I added that. I added that. I added that. That's right. So you I, sure I did. just graduated a couple of days with my finance degree. I'm going into banking. Just accepted a full time offer with a, with one of the big four banks. I know it's not what you preach. If you go into sales, you can control your income. I can make 700k my first couple of years, and that's unfortunately I'm not doing that route. But I will be making decent money. I want to get into real estate as soon as I can. Started looking at 18. You guys are talking about how to get the first deal. What can I do at 22 with decent credit? You know, I don't have any huge opportunity. You say keep saving, but I want to get into real estate today. What can Dude, I do? You ain't going to take my advice, bro. I'll take it. If no, you you're not. Work right no, now you're not. Money, you're not going to take my advice. Most people don't, by the way. You know how many people say, hey, man, what should I do? And as soon as you tell them, they're going to be like, I mean, oh, yeah, that ain't going to work for me. That, you know. Yeah, I got the situation. You, you, the you don't know. You ain't. You already. Bro, you already have already ignored my advice. You've been following me for years, and you ain't gotten a job with a bank. <laughs> to be a portfolio manager at Grant or Cardone Capital, you know, managing a real estate portfolio. Dude, you ain't gonna be a portfolio at Cardone Capital. You're going to work for a bank, bro. You took what they had. You yeah. took what they gave you, bro. Because you're not a gamer, yeah. dude. You're not a gamer. You forgot the game, and you forgot the money. You guys got a I job. I have the game you got in my job. mind. Huh? Mind. It's in my head. It's not my actions just yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just telling you the truth, right? Yeah. Like, like you guys online watching this right now. Am I telling the truth? Am I right or wrong? He's not going to listen to me. Because you guys gave up on the game and you gave up on money. This is what college does. You don't want a game. You want a job. We got this guy that came in here the other day. He wants to leave his job, come to a new job, because he's dying at his old job. We were negotiating yeah. with this guy the mm -hmm. other day. He's my age, sitting down with me. These guys have met with him a couple times. He's making a bunch of money right now at the company. And I looked at him, I said, dude, you're dying, bro. He's like, huh? Got his full attention. Yeah. They're paying you 30 grand a month, and you're dying. How, how long you been dying over there? A couple years. Good. Well, die then, dude. Die, die with 30 grand a month or come live in the game. Yeah. But you're not going to get 30 grand here. You'll get maybe seven grand here in a game. Yeah. Right now, you got, you basically got a damn, they put you in a, one of those things. What is that called? Hamster wheel? No, yeah. The ham, but, 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 but the casket. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be in the game. This is what Jared was saying before mm -hmm. the break, dude. How, how do you, how does Ty, why does Tiger Woods keep playing the game? Because okay. it ain't for them. Well, LeBron, you know, I mean, all, Why does all the great they, the they, they, they operate in They're the gamers, game. They want to win. They're gamers. You know? They're gamers. All, everybody, by the way, is a gamer. I've never met a kid that didn't want to play a game. Some kind of game. Mortal Kombat. Uh, Halo. Halo. Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft. 
What's that? What's oh, that one game that people play online? That's the big thing. Yeah, I, I had. No. Yeah, yeah they played on TV. I had this lady tell me that. Y'all remember Minecraft? Red? Y'all remember Red Faction? Man, Red Faction yeah. was a freaking awesome game. One of the best video games ever. What about? Uh, I could Contra. throw stickies on you and you'd blow I up. I liked Contra. Okay, so look, I want to know: was that too hard on Twenty, the banker, the new banker to be? You know, or was that too hard on him? Am no, I telling man. the truth? You're telling the truth, man. It's the truth. That's He's why he likes my you. Advice, man. You look That's good, why he likes Jerry. You. you look good. You looking at yourself? No. <laughs> looking at myself here. What do you think about my Johnny Cash look today? I like that shirt, man. This uh-huh. is a nice. It's like a polo. It's like a long sleeve polo. It's nice. I walk the line. Yeah. Let's see if we got some I questions. I walk the line. Uh, uh, when are you? Let's see here. I got Soho back in the Cali. You guys. You guys are so sad. Wait, how can somebody? Uh, Lance asked, "How can I get started with the games? I've never played them before." Dude, you got to decide to be Uncle the master. G, can you hear me? Nobody wants to play a game they lose at. Remember this: when you were a little kid and you were playing Monopoly, and your brother, or your sister had you wrecked. She got part place. She got all of Virginia, Pennsylvania properties, and every time you land, you got to pay rent. You threw the whole board down. You just walked away. <laughs> okay? So remember, nobody likes to lose to the game. So the deal about the game is you got to get back into, like, somebody's got to give you permission to play a game. And you got to decide it's important to win the game. That means you got to play the money game. Soho, awesome. so, tell me about your Bobo. Uncle G, how's it going, man? Calling you from L.A., mad love. Uh, found your program a couple of weeks ago. It's been tremendous. Dude, that's um, awesome, dude. What do, what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I'm over the phone, I client acquisition and whatnot. Um, how do you deal with clients that just ghost you during the process and they just Fortnite. go bang, and they what? blank, ghost. and never answer the phone again? What's the, what's the follow-up process Express interest and then die. Like Where there is a no, there is money. We were just talking about that. There's, 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 not, there's not a no. There's not a yes either. They're just kind of like, they're like, oh, we're going to think about this. Like, let's get back together in a couple of weeks and whatnot, and they just disappear. How often, for how long do you follow up with that person? Dude, I go see those people. Your offices? Well, you just got to get, what he's saying is you just got to get more creative with your follow-up. You either, proximity. I remember. Proximity I remember, to the client. Proximity to the opportunity. Proximity right. to the problem. Proximity to the bank account. Proximity, bro. Take responsibility. Something that the entire state of California is unable to do. Yeah. Do you, you, you're, not even, you're not even responsible for your environment. You're, so, like, you're such a passive person at this point. You're like, I need to live somewhere where the weather's good. Mm-hmm. How many times do we have somebody here? Like... I want to move. If you were in San Diego, I'd move there. Yeah. Dude, if I was in San Diego, you wouldn't have to move, dumbass. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> Listen, the guy's like, man, it, when you set up an operation in let LA. Let me know. Let me know. When you come to read, dude, dude, move. Yeah. You're a ghost, bro. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. Dude, there's no hustle left in LA. Everyone's lazy. Everyone's afraid of picking up their phones. No one's out there. Like, no one's out there killing it. No, they're victims, bro. The whole environment's a victim. They move from the Midwest to go to Cali to make it, and then they give up on making it. Because you're too busy in the environment, man. When we, when yeah. we moved to Miami, we moved the whole office over here. We had thunderstorms the first week, and I'm like, is this some shit or what, dude? They were it bad, It woke too. me up to the games, man. <laughs> I got here, man, there was a hurricane coming in. I'm like, shit, man, the games are back. So you need games. Like, you don't want the environment to provide yeah. your games for you. Or the ghost, or the no-show, or the person that backs out of a deal, man. You need to create those games so that when I'm sitting down with Jared, I'm like, hey, man, is there any chance you won't show up for this? See, I play the game. Yeah. I, I'm basically checkmating the guy. I'm, I'm getting him to make the move. Would there be any reason you wouldn't show up? Well, yeah. I mean, if, uh, you know, my car broke down. Good. That, uh, and I'll come pick you up if that happens, okay? We got Uber in the state of California, by the way. It's a new thing. Hey, how about this? I'm, selling, I'm buying this guy's deal, and yeah. I'm like, hey, man, is there any chance that you'll unwind from this deal? I know, you're not, I know I'm not paying you what you wanted. Yeah. See, you guys don't have the hard question co- yeah. conversations. Yeah. That's why you have bad shit happen to you, because you don't play a game, Right? You don't want to deal with the possibility that I get to the four-yard line or, like, like that's why the, the ball players win. They, they yeah. look at all the different scenarios. They look at the four-second clock. Yeah, well, but, but I think this goes down if you, like, go down beneath the game thing. Yeah. People, I don't think, are willing to play games because they don't want to lose. 
They don't want to lose. They don't. They're afraid. I think of, it's they're, they're afraid of losing. Like, I think. I think, that, I think you guys don't want to win. I think that people. I think. I think. I think yeah. they're not. They're not. They're not. They're not. A, you guys, you guys don't know the importance of winning the paper game, baby. You guys don't understand the importance of winning the paper game, man. This dude was losing the paper game when he came to work for me. That's right. All right? He was losing the paper game. He's making 100 k a month now. <laughs> 33 years old. How old are you? I'll be 35 this dude, year. Dude, that's sad, sad. Man. <laughs> 35 years old. He was losing the paper game. Now what's going to happen getting- is this. Now he's winning the paper game. The question is, can he take the game, the game to the next level? Mm-hmm. I told him the other day, bro. Yep. You need to add a zero, son. It needs million to be a million dollars a month. You need to start protecting everything, working for everything, hustling for everything, working every angle, figuring out every deal. Because what he does, what he does, and I'm just mentoring him right now, mm-hmm. he gets in some of these uncomfortable thing, yeah. things we get into, and he don't want to deal with the discomfort. We got like three or four of these things going on right now. Like, At all dude, times, pretty much. Okay. <laughs> that fucking crocodile needs to have a freaking bullet put in his head, put mm-hmm. him down, finish this, and let's start over. The zoo, the zoo, it's got some craziness going on in yeah. it, and we got to get control of the zoo again. <laughs> True. Yes, ma'am. Number four. <laughs> Bring number four. No more L.A. calls. No more bitches calling me today from L.A., okay? <laughs> John, in Texas. John, what's up from the TX? That's where the real men live. What's happening, man? Come on, TX. What's up, Michael G? What's up, Jared? Come on, man. What's up? What's up, man? Young hustle. Yeah. Hey, on a scale from one to ten, how much hustle you got today? Ten being off the rails, dog. I mean, like, it got to be a hundred, man. Damn. What, what did he say? He said a hundred. Hang up on him. He's a liar. <laughs> boom. He a liar. Don't lie to me when you call in here. Okay. Boom. Next caller. Yeah, one more in California. Keep the games going, but oh, in California. Callie's Another calling. One. Let's see if there can be. There's a redemption call here. Okay, the only people who were left working in California are in Bakersfield. That's it. Strawberry picking motherfuckers. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. You got Joe. <laughs> Hello? Joe, what's up, man? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Uh, yes, how are you? You know, I would like to thank, you know, you guys for for having this program because the first time I saw uh, Uncle G, you know, I already bought the playbook because I was part of WFG. And then, you know, that my... my you know, the, the content that I've been doing right now is Advanced Sales Certification Program, mm-hmm. who helps me a lot for this past, you know, like six months man, ago. Man, what you going to say, man? What ago. you going to say? You talk like those those women in the, in the valley over there. Yeah, yeah, I know, because I, I get so excited, Uncle G, because it really, you know, it really grows the business. I've been sharing this to, to our team, you know, that, you know, follow-up, doing the follow-up, you know, getting the master of uh, getting to become a master objector, you know what I mean? So you're closing, you know, the playbook really helps me a lot, you know, the, 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 the playbook, the playbook to millions? millions. Yeah. What playbook are you talking so, about? I want him. I'm sorry? What playbook are you talking about? Uh, I'm doing like the playbook and then now I, I, I just basically bought the, like three weeks ago, the advanced sales ne- ne- uh, negotiation certification. Dude, how, so, how sick was know, that deal? Yeah. Have you got to Genghis Khan? I'm sorry? Did you get to the Genghis Khan strategy? Uh, no, not yet. Did you get to take him to zero? Back to the future. Zero? No. Self-shot. Did you get to because the Cinderella clothes? I, I really want to get, you know, I really want to get the, 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 the total master whole program, which is Did you get, did you get like baby sister crybaby? The selfish, the selfish child clothes. Negotiation tactic. <laughs> okay. Huh, did you? I'm I'm already only on the follow up right now because the follow up. Did you did you did you get to the to the negotiation that way? Hold hold your brother by the ears. I don't I don't. Dude, I don't when yeah, you gonna when you gonna listen to the program, dude? The thing will make you a lethal lethal assassin. Like, like a lethal okay. weapon, bro. Dude, you'll be like able they're to gonna make, outlaw you'll be able you. To make money, they're gonna right? outlaw. Does he work at WFG or he, did he used to work? I think, there? Yeah, I work at WFG because I, I saw you on, on the first time I saw you. You last year, you know that. That's why I grabbed your playbook right away. I grabbed the, dude, the millionaire's playbook, you dude, know. So yeah, look, I man, look, that, look. So I need you to. I need you to give right like now. thirty minutes, thirty minutes a day to my content, and I'm gonna make you illegal, illegal in the state of California. You're gonna be so lethal. All right. All right. But you yeah. guys need to listen to my stuff a yeah. second time, a third time, a fourth time. This guy's been with me how many years? Eight. Every day. Every day he's like, wow. 
Would you tell them what you said in the office this morning? Thank you for calling. Would you tell me in the office this morning? Remember, I got to learn this. Oh yeah, no, like y- 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 so to get to where a guy like Grant is, and I'm learning all the time, by the way. You have to get like really good at identifying situations before their situations on going into the uncomfortable situation and then handling the situation being aware enough with what's happening in the time when tensions are high and stress levels high and people are angry and freaking out and ferocious you and guys got another cherry and popping you, technique and you gotta know like like and so i'm like dude i gotta learn i got i gotta figure this out because i want to keep going there and i know it's an opportunity for me so the first thing that i think of is back when i was making calls and it was like, okay, hey, now you have to get into the negotiation deal where you're like, hey, dude, this is a three-year deal. It's a $6,000 setup fee to launch and build it. And the guy wants to be at 1000 bucks a month, month to month. And knowing that's where he wants to be and then going into that and starting to work that deal out. And so the only way for me and, to and get through that, that example, I'm yeah. sorry, but using that example, if you know the guy's got an objection at 1000 bucks a month, the first thing you want to do is create a bigger problem. Yeah. It's a game. Yeah. All this is a game. Everything we're doing. Hey, man, look, look. Before you come, before you complain about the thousand bucks a month, understand it's not a thousand bucks a month. It's thirty six thousand plus the four thousand dollar activation fee. We're talking about forty grand. He watched me do this yeah. to a guy. It's forty grand. It's not a thousand bucks. He's like, how's it forty grand? Well, you're not going to quit right away, are you? No, I'm not going to quit it. Good. We're talking about forty grand. We're not talking about a thousand bucks. Now, why would I want to do that? And why do most salespeople not do it? Because I'm money motivated and I'm playing the game. The only way to play the game, man, I don't mm-hmm. care if it's, a, it's, a, it's an Xbox game, you have to practice. Yeah. You're going to get better as you understand the playing field. Where, wh- whether it's an Assassin game, Scrabble, uh, what's some games? People Double play? Dragon. Sugar Crush. How many times have you played Sugar Crush where you had to go through the level? Oh, man, there's some of those, those are hard levels in but it's rigged, dude. I bet that's rigged. It, they, like they're no, like, just, you got to play this game like this level at least twelve times before you. Look, how, how, you know, how, you know, you you're gonna get better if you play poker. If you play hold and poker, mm-hmm. and start understanding what real good cards are. Yeah. Like, there's no way to win the Nine game. Nine ain't a good, apparently. And win the money. No way to win the game and win the money if you're not playing both the games. You got to play the game of winning and you got to play the game of money. Put the two together and you're lethal. And that's what we do. All mm-hmm. our educational products. Yep. Volume one, volume two, and volume three. These are volumes this big in Cardone University for teaching you the game of business and the game of money. The, the uh, millionaire booklet. Yep. The playbook to millions that the yep. gentleman talked about. Our 10x financial freedom. It's a game, baby. It's all the game, everything. The game of losing, by the way. You guys that are losing, you're just getting by every month. It's a game. All that complaining you and your wife do, y'all go to Walmarts and you can't buy your kids stuff. It's a game you're playing. And you're losing. You're playing the game of losing. All right? Just getting by is a game. Getting rich is a game. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to add 80 people in our office right now. We're trying to get bigger staff. It's a game. It's all a game. Now, you, if you could win the game of the money, you could actually expand be- bigger, better and, and, and add good partners, healthy partners. Yeah. Not some partners that can't do math. <clears throat> okay, I want to ask everybody, would you rather have 20% of $169 or 10% of three hundred and eighty grand? Let me know. Please post below. Would you rather 10% of $169 or would you rather... I'm sorry, 20%, 20%. Let me just write this down because I got to figure this out. This is complicated. Would you rather 20% of, of 995 or would you rather 10% of 380,000 dollars? By the way, the guy that does the 995, he's going to do it every once in a while. The guy doing 380 does it all the time. Please answer below <clears throat> A. 20% of 995, just go ahead and admit you're stupid. And 10% of 380,000, I'm committed to being rich. I'm not committed to being right. <laughs> Thanks for watching today. <laughs> Producers and creators are the sources of all value on the planet. MC Lobster, the host of the top rated business and investing podcast, Cashflow Ninja, is on a mission with Producers Wealth. To help producers create, protect, and multiply their wealth outside of Wall Street in any economy, 
by creating systems and processes that help them increase their production, provides them with liquidity, passive income generators, and opportunities for enormous growth. Learn more about their time-tested and proven systems at yourownbankingsystem.com. That's yourownbankingsystem.com.